Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Your discretion is advised. If I have to bust out a warning like this once again, words alone will not prepare you for the fucked up shit you're about to see. So, if you remember the last time I made a video on this guy, he was creeping on one of my friends as usual. Like I said, and he was covering it up by saying that it was a joke. And remember how I said that I'm pretty sure none of this are jokes at all? Well, these screenshots literally prove that. I am 100% certain that this dude is a bona fide creep. I'm going to keep thinking about this for the rest of my life. These images are burnt into my memory forever. And seeing this, it makes me feel disgusted, honestly. I was in yet another group chat with this guy and Puffy, and Puffy decided to make a penis joke. I mean, I didn't really see anything wrong with it. Then this dude's creepy ass decided to step in and say this. If I'm not what you asked for, Luis might not like what if Luis might not like it if I showed you mine. And then he follows it up with LOL. So just in case if any screenshots were taken of this, people would perceive it as a quote, joke, unquote. Okay, but first of all, and Cybernaut made a perfect point about this in the last one, one was joking about sexual harassment okay? Imagine telling a 16 year old that you would send them a picture of your wrinkly penis and you're almost 60 for fuck's sake. Oh, and it gets worse. It gets worse than that. He only confirmed what he would say by saying, Don't make me show you the real deal now. LOL. Because he really thinks we're idiots. Tim, Wolf, whatever the hell your name is, we all know at this point that you may as well be on the sex offender registry. And there's a final screenshot too, but this one made me feel the worst out of them all. I legit wanted to snap this dude's neck after reading this. I'm not going to lie here. I'm not going to pussyfoot around what I feel like about this guy. And another short story about how the screenshot I'm going to show you came to be, Puff put in her Facebook status or a post, I'm not sure what it really was, that she was dealing with period cramps and such. I mean, I don't see any problems with that. I mean, girls her age go through it all the time. But then our old boy Timmy steps in and says this to her, really. So what you're basically saying is, that if her boyfriend wasn't there, then you would be there trying to get into her pants because of the hormones that she's feeling at this age? This pretty much confirms that you are a straight up chomo. For any of his quote supporters who think that I'm slandering him in any way and I'm trying to paint him as this pedophile on the internet, the screenshots say them all. I don't want to pin anything on him yet. I'm gonna make sure that this dude is 100% a pedophile. But these screenshots here are telling me that. I just got an update about this guy not too long after I got finished recording this video. I'm not even going to say what he says in this because it's absolutely vile. We all know at this point that this dude's a fucking creep. He's a straight up pedophile. I'm not even gonna deny that now. Forget about what I just said a minute ago. If you're wondering about the questions and the responses she's giving, she's literally asking him these things so she can use them against him. And I'm glad she's doing this, because she's literally actively outing him for the piece of garbage that he really is. I mean, you're just digging yourself an even deeper grave, deeper than the one you're already in, Tim. This is unacceptable. Imagine being a 60-year-old guy telling a 16-year-old girl your depraved fantasies and what you want to do with them. I seriously hope the worst happens to you.